There are occasions that we deprive ourselves with some things so that we may grow in wisdom of the heart. Peace and blessings be with you. This is Sister Amelin Paglinawan for today's Gospel Power. Then the disciples of John came to Jesus, saying, Why do we and the Pharisees fast often, but your disciples do not fast? And Jesus said to them, The wedding guests cannot mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them. And they, the days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them. And then they will fast. Jesus does not abolish the discipline of fasting, but clarifies its proper context. He himself, in the Synoptic Gospels, Matthew, Mark, and Luke, fasts for 40 days, before beginning his public ministry. The discipline of fasting prepared him interiorly for the initial confrontation with Satan, the personification of evil. Having resisted Satan's temptations, Jesus begins his ministry as the bridegroom of the heavenly kingdom. While John the Baptist's disciples fast to prepare for divine judgment, which they believe will bring condemnation to sinners, Jesus comes with a totally unexpected revelation that divine judgment is mercy, not condemnation. Feasting rather than fasting is the appropriate disposition before this unmerited compassion of God. But since this divine judgment of mercy will be accomplished once and for all through the death of Jesus, the removal of the bridegroom from the midst of the disciples will prompt them to fast as an appropriate expression of mourning. We Christians today continue to commemorate the bridegroom's sacrifice by means of fasting in the season of Lent, especially on Ash Wednesday and Good Friday. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you are the reason for both our feasting and our fasting, for in you we live and move and have our being. Amen. We stand before you, Holy Spirit, as we gather together in your name. With you alone to guide us, make yourself at home in our hearts. Teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path, nor partiality influence our actions. Let us find in you our unity, so that we may journey together to eternal life, and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. All this we ask of you, who are at work in every place and time, in the communion of the Father and the Son, forever and ever. 